Hi, welcome to Manhattan Zodiac Virtual Bar. Very nice to see you here again. My name is Katya and today we are talking about infusions. Infusions is very trendy topic right now within bar industry and within alcohol production industry. Just because infusions give you huge space to create and it gives you huge space to create the craft. Really nice craft, by the way. But uh, historically speaking, infusions is nothing new and the first trace of infusion goes 9000 years back. But current theory says that the first, very first infusion appeared 10 million years ago, at the point where gene mutation met primate evolution. Generally speaking, fermented products consumption is in our genes. And how it happened? 10 million years ago, Homo sapiens would walk around and would see fruits laying on the ground. It was way easier to pick them up than to climb a tree and to get another ones. So this is how we started to consume ripened fruits. But some of those were already fermented and this is where we started to build our tolerance uh, to fermented products. And this was the time where we actually set the base for alcohol production and infusions. Long before infusions started to call infusions, uh, they were typically called tonics, cordials, uh, liqueurs or medicinals. But the idea was the same, to infuse flavor properties into the base spirit. There were several discussions about uh, what was the first infusion, was it beer, wine or was it rice wine. Most likely it was very simple beer fermented out of uh, wild grasses because trace of this beer was found uh, from 10,000 years before and uh, rice was not invented that time yet. Nevertheless, uh, people continue to be very busy by producing beer and meat and some of these fermented brews uh, were made by combining them with uh, different ingredients and letting these ingredients sit uh, in the alcohol for a while for medicinal purposes, for purposes of flavoring and coloring and people would use whatever they had on hand, uh, from flour to fruits, from herbs to seeds, some kind of skins and uh, these ancient ways of producing beer and wine are still used in uh, modern production, but uh, infusion itself took its own artsy culinary niche and has uh, a lot of science under that. Then moving to the Middle Ages, uh, vodka was invented and uh, thanks to Russia and Poland it happened in 8th century and followed by whiskey, gin, rum and tequila. And the apothecaries of that time started to infuse more medicinal herbs, uh, precious metals, spices and flowers for treatment purposes. And uh, at one point they started to infuse opium and morphine into the spirits too. And of course some people noticed not only uh, medicinal properties of of these concoctions but also relaxation properties too and uh, it made uh, uh, all these cordials and liqueurs uh, popular and uh, it became kind of daily tradition to have a little bit during the dinner. Modern infusions are a little bit different from Middle Ages infusions but they are still very delicious and probably even more delicious and it can be very simple things from infusing gin on orange peels and uh, vodka on berries up to fat washing infusions which demand a little bit more skills but still very possible and uh, let's move to types of infusions to see what can we apply and what can we use in our modern mixology and the first method of infusion we are going to talk about called infusion you won't believe that and it's very simple it's based on uh, soaking uh, flavoring agent in the alcohol so you basically just put into the jar herbs uh, fruits and spices then you cover it with alcohol and uh, you let it sit from several hours up to several days you try it time to time you shake it time to time and whenever you think your infusion is ready you just uh, strain the solid part and you can use it as uh, aperitif digestive uh, you can shoot it or you can use it for mixology purposes the second method is way faster than traditional infusion and uh, the name is weeping siphon infusion and it takes seconds you just uh, put everything into a weeping siphon uh, your alcohol your flavoring agent then you charge it twice you shake it and your infusion is ready the thing is this method uh, takes a lot of skills so just check all the instructions uh, and uh, follow all the guidelines when using that 
Another relatively simple method of infusion is called sous vide infusion, and this one used a lot in culinary, and uh, it's pretty easy to use it at home. You just put everything into the jar, your flavoring agent, your liquid, and uh, you seal it very well. It should be a temperature-resistant jar. You also can use special sous vide bag. Then you place it into warm or hot bath. Uh, the temperature should be different for different liquids. After it's ready, it normally takes uh, from one up to four hours. You can cool it down and uh, your infusion is ready for consumption. Another interesting and simple method of infusion is called fat washed infusion. And this one was pioneered by PDT Bar in New York City. So the method based on combining flavorful butter, oil or fat with your alcohol, then you let it sit for about an hour in the room temperature, then you place it into the freezer until solid part will separate from your alcohol. You remove solid part, you strain your alcohol and your infusion is ready. What will happen your alcohol will get smoother it will get uh, a little bit buttery texture and uh, it will take all the flavor from your fat part of course there are other types and methods of infusions but these are most commonly used ones in bar and restaurant industry and right now you have pretty solid idea about the concept and uh, types of infusions you can apply for your home and professional mixology we are going to post some recipes right under this video please feel free to read them feel free to ask us questions and uh, we are always happy to see you in our imbibe community have a great day and uh, see you next time.